Uh, here is um, a calibration test just to see if uh, the printer is uh, uh, correctly installed. Uh, this is a calibration test I need to make uh, before anything else and uh, it proves that when it's well done it proves that uh, the printer is correctly leveled and uh, let's see it closer if there are more uh, other mistakes so it's a one layer or two layer thing it's not high it's just it's just uh, something very simple in fact so what I can see from now is that globally uh, the realization is correct however I can see that there are some strange mistakes and there are more mistakes on the top right side of the, the printer and I can see here that uh, there are kind of uh, bizarre bizarre lines here I don't know why but the right side here seems to seems to have more problems than the left side that is more more regular more well aligned so if I have to change something uh, I will probably have to uh, move uh, the leveling process and I don't know if I have to to put it higher or lower because uh, uh, so that is not well glued. Here is for now the tool I'm using globally with this printer. Um, uh, this tool has a, is a kind of Swiss army knife, bigger. Um, and um, I use it to, to check uh, the object. I, I use it also to remove some uh, filaments or some solid parts that uh, are accidentally uh, dropped uh, in the printer or during the printing process. Uh, uh, so uh, the plate is uh, is 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 cool because uh, uh, you cannot let any trace like that even with a knife. Uh, but you can see that, for example, when I just let the here the knife, I can see that the knife goes under the the filaments here and it's very easy to to remove with a knife something as you can see so you get to put the knife just under some part and even if it seems to be glued it will be easy to to take it out but the problem here is that there are lots of imperfections. For example, you can see here, first in imperfection is not aligned with the rest. Here, for example, it is totally... Even if I didn't use the knife, it was already unglued. So it's the sign of that something is, is, is not well aligned or leathered here, probably on the right side because I can see something strange here uh, if I look closely I can see a line here a bump there are bumps here bumps and those bizarre bumps uh, even if there is nothing underlying there are strange bumps and it, it it looks like there is uh, really, truly, on the right side, uh, some work to do. And this, if this is not well uh, leveled, especially on the right side, uh, the future objects uh, won't be uh, won't be good, and and possibly they they won't um, they won't be able to to be built. When I'm looking the result uh, through uh, light, I can see that uh, 
it seems that there are more bumps, small bumps, on the left side than on the right side. Uh, and the problem is on the right side and there are errors here, errors here, filaments going in a bizarre way here. And this is totally fucked up here, for example. This is this is bad, this is bad. I need to, to do something on the right side and to re reprint this and compare. Uh, I'm going to check uh, if uh, real leveling may be higher, closer from the printer. Uh, I'm going to turn the right knob. Okay, I changed a bit the position of the left uh, knob. I've uh, I've realized that there was uh, too much space um, on the right side between the extrusion head and uh, the plate. So I um, I made something to uh, really to change the the height of the plate with the right knob and I'm printing another version of the calibration test and I previously used and it really seems that this is more uniform from the left to the right um, the bumps I've noticed previously are more regularly dispatched and um, if in the previous uh, printing tests there was some uh, uh, curved lines. Uh, here I can see that there are not uh, any, uh, those curved lines do not really appear anymore, so it seems that the leveling looks a bit better. It's nearly finished. I will uh, remove the calibration test from the plate and I'll, I'll just compare with the previous one and see if there are less uh, glitches and anomalies on the result. And here is the second version of the calibration tests. So it looks more regular. First of all the bumps uh, on the left side and on the right side seems more regular. I mean that uh, before there was a few more bumps on the left than on the right so there are uh, the same the same kind of bumps everywhere first I do not uh, I do not see any curved lines or any anything really relevant of a, a wrong uh, a wrong leveling process it's really more regular uh, okay so I let the level like that uh, I let the level like that considering that uh, this kind of test is uh, just a waste of a PLA filament uh, so I think that uh, it's enough for now well, uh, starting to use my printer but there is something strange here uh, look at that it's, it started to, to build something that uh, there is a there is something strange here. This is a ship. It looks like this is something that was surrounding the nozzle. It's uh, it's something that was surrounding the the printer head. I'm asking myself if, if there is not something that is cheering here. Oh. Oh yes, there is something that is tearing uh, plastic around the head, the printer head. So the printer head is sometimes surrounded by by bioplastic PLA, and uh, I think that I need to cleanse. I need to cleanse sometimes the printer head before I start printing something because if I don't uh, if I'm not careful about that this kind of uh, 
strange shit is able to to fall at the beginning of the, the printing process directly on the first layers and I'm too bad I, I had to stop the printing. Well so this is my this is a mistake I do. I have to be aware that the head is uh, sometimes has to be clean, clean before any kind of uh, printing process. I didn't read it uh, in the manual. Uh, sadly, where well, I'm going to clean this shit and restore. Well, now I'm trying to to print um, a file that I found on internet. Uh, that's called the. Um, the Pisa Tower. The Pisa Tower uh, is a little bit oblate, but shit, there's another mistake. The printer here is shitting something, but there's too much space between the the head of the extruder and the bottom of the plate. Oh shit. Well, so it means that uh, even if it's a STL5, uh, it doesn't mean that it's uh, all the time printer friendly. Uh, it's possible that there are some some things that I didn't understood very well. So I shouldn't I shouldn't use any kind of uh, Free file on internet because uh, some of them are printer friendly and some of them are not. Indeed, uh, I'm going to stop the the printer. So I, I believe that, that uh, every 3D file could be printed as is, but uh, apparently this one uh, represented a, initially a pretty a pretty tower that doesn't work. Well, son of a mistake. It doesn't stop well. Uh, I'm trying to, to remove this. It started correctly at the beginning, but suddenly uh, the printer didn't print anything and the plate went down. I don't know why. It's probably because of the file that couldn't be processed correctly uh, or the G code that has mistaken. I don't know why. And I tried to find another version of the. Pisa Tower, a uh, simplified one maybe. There is, a bit, there are big mistakes here. I mean that the printer was trying to build something but there was nothing under. So it started to build shit here. It was empty but the printer started to build something on something on, on the emptiness. This is a mistake. So this is my second mistake uh, using a 3D, a 3D file that is not printer friendly and letting the printer build things on emptiness. Cool. <clears throat> I think uh, we had to make more tests before. Uh, let's start with something else. Uh, so the problem is that now I did this mistake. There is some shit now that is uh, surrounding the the printer head. You can see there are lots of uh, residual PLA filament around the muzzle. So I think I need to preheat the whole thing, and then when the PLA will be molted and and 
uh, will be hot. I'll be able to remove it uh, better way. So I'm I'm gonna preheat the shit. Uh, it's there. Preheat the shit. Because something that is that is uh, like like that, it's solidified around the the printer head, and I can't do nothing. I can't, I can't remove it. Man, look at that crap! It's totally glued around the uh, the extruder. So uh, I need I need to take it when it's hot, and when it's hot, I can remove it with a knife or something like that. So guys, it's, it's time there is some friction, some friction under the the extruder hand. Uh, uh, there is a kind of a sh a sheet around around the extruder head some shit starts to aggregate uh, some shit starts to uh, to climb to to surround the the extruder head and the more the objects you're building are complex and produce friction the more uh, you will need uh, to to make a pause and or to to cleanse, to cleanse the shit that is surrounding the, the extruder. Right, cool. So I, I think this device will uh, often need lots of maintenance because uh, the extruder head will probably uh, will probably have to be cleansed a lot of time. Well, the printer is slowly building an auto object that is uh, an object that is uh, nice because uh, it has uh, it is uh, two words, uh, love and you, that are intricated. In fact, it is a special object that you, the printer is building actually, and uh, it starts well. No glitches, no, no bugs. No. But the the, the object looks printer friendly, and uh, for now there's no mistake that I can see with the eyes. So it looks like a, a success this time. No burn burn part, no nothing to nothing to say against the. Uh, oops, I speak too fast. Uh, there is a mistake here. Uh, apparently, the one of the letter has been misplaced, uh, and it, pro it probably won't uh, won't look as expected here. Uh, let's check it. Ah, yeah, yeah, there is a mistake, so I need to stop the printer and maybe restart the thing and let's see why it didn't work. Oh, too bad. I like the, the concept. Well when it's when it doesn't work as expected you can cancel the bill here Maybe with this money so I stop. I stop. Like that. And uh, yep uh, it has been uh, it has been fucked up in some way. It's too bad because I really like the the idea of the love you thing. I don't know what happened, maybe a glitch or something. Technically the technically it has to to be glued on the on the make bot. It has to be glued on the make bot um plate and I can see that sometimes it's not glued enough so the the head printer has uh, has to be has to encounter something or little problem and the whole thing is just move like that and, and you can restart from 
from the beginning a print when it happens but uh, the problem is if, if the the PLF filament is too too well glued on the bottom uh, it's very difficult to to take it and to take the object in the end so uh, for example here it's very it's it's glued it's glued heavily glued on the plate so I cannot move it and this part is not glued at all so it's strange that the filament didn't stay in, in a constant way in a solid way on the plate there's something I don't understand I, re I restart the, the printing and, and just observe the way it's fucked up in the end uh, there's something I don't understand. For example, here you can see that the letters are perfectly uh, glued on top of the of the plate. For example, the two letters from the left are well glued on the top of the, and maybe the third one on the right side doesn't rely on something that is enough that is high enough there's something strange here the U later doesn't seem to be the later I think I, I see what happens. There's three there are three letters and uh, the third one it is thin. Okay. The base of the third one is really thin and maybe it can explain why it's a bit fucked up. It has to be more solid in the base of the object base of the objects to, to build are uh, have to be more solid and more large on the plate. Maybe it could explain why it didn't work well in some it's just let me just check what happens. Edge on the right side is really is really placed on something that is a very fragile position. I should have thought to turn to turn the object in another in another way to avoid this uh, this problem. Because if there is just one little just one little bug, everything is fucked up in this situation. This is a dangerous strategy I've chosen there. Uh, you see? It, it, it's a bit dangerous to start like that. Uh, especially on the right side of the object. Uh, I, I can see it now. It's really not the, right, the, the best idea I had. The right lever will probably be fucked up soon, so it's not. So. It's just posed on the plate, and it's not stable at all. The head extrusion hurts by mistake some part of the of the third lever on the right side. It just will be pushed out at the printer and I will have to start the making the object one once again but I, if I have to start it once again I, I probably won't put the same way the object on the plate because, it, because it's very it's not the best practice. So it will be a tutorial of uh, 
what you have to avoid in fact uh, you have to avoid to do this because uh, it's not a good example of something that is uh, that is and will be successful in fact so just don't do it uh, you people that are if you're looking this video just don't do it like this it's, it's a mistake what I can say that from time to time uh, what happens is that the, the filament just becomes solid too fast and maybe there is not enough space between the, the extruder and uh, the last part of the last layer and what happens is that the, the head of the extruder just meets the solidified part of the object and there is there is a more than a friction there is something that is uh, that is happening that is uh, that the head of the extruder is bothered in this in its own progression by the solidified object the friction is too heavy in fact so it so it possibly comes from the fact that uh, the heat is not enough and the, so, the, the object just has become more solid too fast it's a problem of heating but the heating is good because I can see that the, the filament is heated to 228 degrees so it looks, it looks like it works and uh, And the problem is that you cannot predict very well when this kind of bug will happen because the, the leveling looks good. It makes the printing process uh, a bit... Uh, uh, the printing process is finally not something that is... Uh, a wow it's, uh, it's a bit random finally it just makes this process a bit uh, interesting because you don't know if it works or not you don't know why it doesn't work or not why the, the head printer just uh, encounter too fast the solid part or not maybe if there is a firmware, fire, firmware update or software update, this kind of bug will be where found. It. For now, let's cross fingers. And then here it comes. It had to happen. The last letter of the last word has just been pushed out by the head printer. But it didn't happen the same way as the last time, but it's uh, the same shit. It's too... It's not positioned in the same way. And it was just, it was just very fragile. Very fragile from the start. And this way it didn't, it didn't work well. It's too bad because I really like this object. And I have to... I will have to recheck it. Okay. See, in fact, the... the the bug comes from the fact that the, the object is built on this on this on the plate you see and after that it becomes bigger or bigger but it could it should be it should be like that if you want and not like that so when you place the object on the plate it has to be placed on something that is more stable this may be the, the 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 mistake I make, in fact, because I'm inexperienced in 3D printing. Well, I'm um, I'm showing you uh, the inner structure of uh, an object uh, built uh, with the MakerBot replicator. Uh, if you look closely, uh, you can see that the the object um, is um, 
is composed of several things. First of all, the base, then the surrounding material, and the inner structure. And you can see that uh, inside the object this is solid because there is a kind of a grid, kind of a grid here, and it, it is what makes the object very solid in the end. You can see that, uh, well, this is a Buddha statue that I fucked up because I've totally forgot to check closely the bottom of the statue. You can see that is this is a round thing here, slightly round thing, and in fact it was just uh, unstable on the plate. And uh, uh, in the middle of the process, it started to to make like that, and it started to be a bit uh, unstable. And finally, what what uh, had to happen happened. I mean that the printer had just uh, encountered some solid part of the thing, and it was just uh, ejected, ejected from the the plate, and it uh, falls on the on the bottom of the of the plate. Okay, so but it let me show you uh, uh, the way that uh, an object is built internally, and I find uh, I find it uh, quite interesting. And here is another example of a. Uh, of something that uh, didn't work well. Uh, this is the base of a statue once again and um, as you can see here uh, there is a kind of a, of a shit that was created uh, here on this place and uh, the problem comes from the fact that uh, there have been a probably something more complex to build here on this place and the printer encountered a kind of a friction resistance and the problem is that the the base of the object wasn't stable as you can see it was it was glued correctly there but it wasn't but it was just here just this place was in fact correctly fixed on the plate and uh, the other side of the statue wasn't stable so when there is there were the, the complexity of something here had to be built uh, there was a kind of a friction and the statue was progressively um, unglued and um, once again it had to fail and when it fails um, uh, the the problem is that it um, the extruder shits things and it, it it's, it's a kind of a it's a kind of a mess because the the, the extruder head just uh, just encounters uh, old and uh, freshly solidified parts of the objects and it's be it becomes very ugly to see uh, as you can see for example and um, and the the object then is then pushed out of the the plate and it falls and you can say bye bye to the printing process you can start restart it and um, the only solution i see for that kind of problem is to and just to uh, put uh, a first layer here, larger layer here first, so that the object has better, uh, better base, larger base, and the other solution uh, will be to uh, put, to ask to the software to put the object uh, down, just one millimeter down, with a bigger layer here so that it's more stable in the end and even if there is a little glitch or if there is a little problem from time to time it won't be uh, uh, something to rebuild from the start you can pause you can uh, you can pause the printer and you can 
take out of the printer uh, out of the object little glitches and restart resume the printing process and everything continues uh, this is something I have to uh, I have to be aware of, of, about the problem this kind of problem because uh, I'm I realize I can botch a lot of filament by doing uh, basic mistakes like that.